Am I the asshole for leaving in an Uber after my engagement party? My fiancé and I got engaged a week ago. It was an absolute disaster. I never wanted a party but my fiancé's mom insisted and wanted to have the engagement party at a restaurant that is expensive to me and made my fiancé pull money out of his saving account to buy a house just so she could show herself off to her family. She picked a restaurant of her choice. Invited her whole family while I was only allowed to invite mom and dad. She didn't even order meals until later, because she was arguing about how her favorites weren't on the menu. Lied to my parents about food and said in her invitation, join us in celebrating Jake and Sarah's engagement with desserts and champagne, only. She said, no kids, but brought Sill's kids with her. She sat in the middle, next to my fiance, and they were both having a toast without me. I was feeling so uncomfortable and super pissed that I couldn't even hide it. My parents were the first to leave. They were upset. Can't blame them. It was awful. We were about to leave. My mother-in-law wanted us to give her a ride home because brother-in-law left with his cousin. My fiancé said, sure, next thing I knew, she got into the passenger seat. Sil tagged along and stuffed her kids in the back where I supposed to sit. I found this so damn inappropriate and humiliating. I asked my fiancé if he was serious, I told him I belonged in the passenger seat, but mother-in-law said I was being disrespectful and refused to sit in the back, and threw some comments at me. I lost it, literally called an Uber and told them to go, my fiancé lashed out and called me crazy and told me to get in the car because I was embarrassing him, we yelled at each other, he refused to leave, I got in my Uber as they watched and went to my parents, cried my eyes out, and refused to answer my phone to spare myself the shaming. It was awful. Awful so awful that I regret not leaving early. I hate them all. They're treating me like trash and I've had it. I'm 24 and my fiancé is 27. Edit to clarify that 1. She took some of our savings for a new house and spent it on the party. 2. She sat in the passenger seat and wanted me to sit in the back. My fiancé took her side and said I was embarrassing him. Not the asshole. Why would you marry someone who allows his family to treat you this way? Sounds like he's more interested in his relationship with his mother anyway. The party was for the love of your fiancé's life. The problem, that person isn't you. Not the asshole obviously, and you need to evaluate whether this is something you want to have governing your life going forward, because it will not stop. Your possibly future mill is making sure that you know your place in the hierarchy, and if she's the most important person at your engagement party, it's not going to change. Not the asshole. And husband-to-be didn't back you up at all. Honey, it's not too late to change your mind. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. Do not marry him. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It sounds like your fiancé has a mama's boy complex. And please don't be one of those women who think that marrying him will make him shape up and be better about compartmentalizing his relationship with his mother. Nope. She'll be the third person in your marriage. It's going to be a three-way marriage with you as the least priority. Not the asshole this is what your marriage will look like. It will not get better. You are under no obligation to go through with it. You do not have to suffer being treated like trash then acting grateful for it. They are doing you a favor and warning you before it's too late. Take their warning. Wait wait wait. This woman insisted on throwing you an engagement party dinner and then made you pay for it. Not the asshole. The fact that your fiancé was on her side here is very concerning. I am so sorry you and your parents had to endure this straight up shitty treatment by your possible in-law. I saw possible because really and truly, even if you love your fiancé, you have to remember that you're not just marrying him. You're marrying into his family as well. And if they can't treat you and yours with respect and he allows that to happen, I honestly think you would be better off splitting things off. If you do that now, you will most likely never have to interact with any of them ever again, and you can find another person whose family will accept you with open arms and not undermine your wishes. I hope this thread helped you. Info, how often does he take her side over yours? Not the asshole, emphatically.
I don't understand exactly what happened with the whole back seat part of this. It sounds like your fiancé was going to drive you and his mom home, but instead his mom wanted him to drive himself, her, your SIL and your SIL's kids and leave you behind, but regardless you and your family were meant to feel unimportant and were humiliated rather than celebrated like you should have been. It's unfortunate and disturbing that your fiancé was apparently fine with you being treated like this. You and him need to talk and if he isn't getting why this was a problem and meaningfully change his behavior moving forward, I don't see a healthy long-term relationship developing out of this. Not the asshole. Your fiancé sounds like a mama's boy to a selfish pest of a person. This isn't a good sign. The fact he chose his family over you in such a blatant manner, his future wife, should be a massive red flag. I hate the whole, break up, advice, but honestly, please run. He and his family sound insufferable and it won't get any better. Not the asshole. There are so many red flags over there. Don't stay in this relationship or your life will be hell after you get married. Not the asshole. Is this how you want to spend the rest of your life? Because trust me, his mom sure as fuck isn't going to change at this point. And the fact that he got mad at you saying you were embarrassing him. I seriously hope you are rethinking this relationship because your fiancé has zero respect for you. Not the asshole. Time to give that ring back and get away from this family. Not the asshole. Why are you marrying this awful guy? Well at least you aren't married. I'd run. Fast. Get ready to join R-J-U-S-T-N-O-M-I-L and even R, just no significant other if you marry this guy. You got yourself a serious mama's boy issue. Not the asshole, but you have to realize that your anger is misplaced. You don't have a mill problem. You have a fiancé problem. Not the asshole. However just to clarify it's very normal for older people to sit in the front seat. More comfortable and easier to get in and out when you don't move as well. Either way, your mill is an awe. You're definitely not the asshole, and it sounds like you need to get away from this abusive and controlling behavior. The fact that your fiancé was more concerned about him being embarrassed than your comfort or feelings tells you everything you need to know about his priorities. While your fiancé should have stood up for you and himself, using money that was meant for a house to pay for a party someone else is supposed to host, and your family was treated so badly, I would honestly consider calling off this wedding. Once you feel better you should have a serious talk with your boyfriend about boundaries and whether you even want to be part of this family. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is a window into your future. Tell your fiancé to grow a set, or move on. This misery will last longer than your marriage. Not the asshole. You've now seen what your husband will be like. You will not change him. He may at some point agree to change this unnatural behavior, but he won't. Believe that bouquet of pretty red flags he's just handed you. Not the asshole. Congratulations you've been given a view into the future. If you marry him he will always choose his family over you. Imagine the sheer misery of situations like this constantly for years. I would seriously be reconsidering my relationship and getting the hell out of Dodge at this point. Not the asshole. Just wow, this is awful. Your fiancé can't choose his family, but he can choose whether to side with you or them. Is this really the guy you want to marry? You definitely need to bring up with him how they treat you and your family, but it really should have been obvious to him and he should be doing something about it. Not the asshole. Woo. If I may drop a cliche, when people show you who they are, believe them. If you thought the engagement party was a nightmare, imagine your rehearsal dinner, your wedding, your marriage. If you're planning on having kids, imagine your pregnancy, your baby shower, your birth. Don't expect to actually have a say in raising your kid because I doubt your mill and her son band will let you. Edit to add, you deserve better than her, and better than a fiancé who would let his family treat you this way. Not the asshole. You mean ex-fiancé right? Cause this is just a giant red flag that's a nice warning to not go through with it. Not the asshole. Not even in the slightest. And, like someone else said, it's not too late to change your mind. Don't let him treat you like this, and don't let him or anyone else berate you like this. She's absolutely an asshole, as is your fiancé. However, you shouldn't have went to a party in the first place if you don't agree to have one. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Run. Run very far in the other direction.
You only mentioned the house in passing. But your fiancé bought a house because mommy told him to. Did he talk to you about it first or it will be your home soaken? This marriage will last s. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. It was only an engagement party. Imagine a wedding or having kids later. And of course not the asshole. I'd have thrown the ring at his face. Not the asshole don't marry that mama's boy. You deserve better than an Uber from your own engagement party that your fiancé has spent with his family, and not you. Not the asshole. Location flag 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 run location flag 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 Not the asshole is he still your fiance might want to rethink that Not the asshole are you sure you want to marry this guy Sounds like you will be last on his priority list. I'm confused how she made him buy a house. You can't make a grown man but a house. He bought it because he chose to not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's concerning that your partner would allow his mom to control things to this extent. Unless he makes major changes to his approach with her, this will be a major issue long term. I suggest you have a serious conversation with him. Do premarital counseling, and familiarize yourself with bad mill stories so you can see what you're in for and determine whether this is the relationship for you. Reading a bunch of the comments, and no one seemed to ask this. But how the frick does Mill take money out of your savings account? He's 27 for crying out out. So yay, as others have pointed out run, run fast and run far. I know it's kinder of a stereotype to say, dump the whole man, ah, just no mill. But dump the whole man. Ah, just no mill. Not the asshole by a country mile. I'm confused. Sounds like your ex's mother would rather she marry her son rather than you. And hash x200b. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Also worth considering. This is what being married to him will be like. Info. In my family, the oldest person sits in the passenger seat, so I'm not sure why you were so upset about that. But, was there even room for you in the back seat? Are you sure you want to marry into this family that you hate? Not the asshole. You've been given the opportunity to see how your future marriage will go. Your mill taking over and your husband letting her. I'd take this time to decide if that's what you want and if it is then be prepared to always take the literal and figurative backseat in this relationship. Not the asshole. She sounds delightful. Is your fiancé's family generally socially inept and inappropriate or is it just a one-off thing? If your fiancé did not comprehend what a shit show he and his mother made of this dinner, it doesn't bode well for your future. He comes with his family and Queenie isn't going to change. Not the asshole. Dear, he should be an ex. Not the asshole. Your mom and your fiancé, for not sticking up for you, sound terrible. I'm sorry they ruined your special day. Are you sure you want to be marrying into this family, knowing how your fiancé treated you? Not the asshole. But are you sure you want to marry this man and marry into that family? It will never change nor get better. Think long and hard about your whole relationship and if this is really what you want. Not the asshole but are you sure you wanna marry this guy? He will always respect his mum's opinions over you. Can you live with that? Not the asshole. Consider yourself lucky your ex-fiancé showed you the truth before you felt like it was too late to back out, like after a marriage, house or kid. He's just proven that his mother will always be number one, and then his family, then maybe his kids, then you. Unless you have a dog. I promise, leaving now will hurt, but not nearly as much as the 5th of January 10 years of taking a backseat to your mill in your own marriage.